Hi, my name is Michael. I'm a customer success manager here at UserLike. Today, I'm going to give you a brief introduction into the UserLike chat solution. So let's get started. Let's log into the dashboard. Now that we're in the dashboard, you can see that this is your home screen, which gives you a summary of your chat activities. On the left menu, you can find all the different options available to you, such as the chat panel, widget and add-on configurations, messages, analytics, and more. The chat panel is the core of UserLike and your cockpit to deliver support. So we're going to move to this section first and show you how it works and how you can chat. Now that we're in the chat panel, if you're an agent, this is where you'll spend most of your time. It's the place where the chats will come in. But right now we're still on a way, so we can't get any chats. Let's change that. So here's our first chat. If a web visitor has a question, they'll reach out to you via the widget on your website or your messenger integration with Facebook Messenger or Telegram. The chat panel is your hub for all customer chats. They'll answer all questions from inside the chat panel. You can also switch between different chats, type or send macros, or use commands to make use of the integrations, for example, create a ticket with Help Scout. Another cool feature, with our live preview, you can see what your customer is typing before she hits the send button. This way, you can prepare your answer in advance. Now that you've helped the customer, you can finish the chat and she can rate your service. All right, so that's it for a quick introduction to our chat panel. Now, back to the dashboard. Next up, we'll head over to our widget configuration. If you want to make changes to your widget, for example, its look, text, or behavior, the widget configuration is where you go. Change the look of your chat button, such as the colors and themes, so it fits the green theme of your camping equipment website. You can also change the position to the left or right side, or use our offset to put the chat button exactly where you want it on your website. Adjust the overall design of your chat button, such as icons or wording. Next up, we're going to head to Chat Behavior. This is where you can set your service times and also select different chat modes, such as our proactive mode. If someone looks at your 15-person tent for longer than 60 seconds, you can automatically invite them to chat. Another cool feature is Chat Butler. A challenge of live chat is the need to always be online, so we built a chat bot that helps you out and takes the first steps of the support process. He collects web visitor information and any questions they might have, then notifies you to come online. In the Install tab, you can find the JavaScript widget code, which is how you implement the widget into your website. We also offer external applications. So if oberhausencamping.com happens to be on, say, Shopware, it's no problem. In the Messages tab, you can see all of your offline messages and chats that you've received. So, for example, we can see the chat we had earlier here. Once you select the message, you will find all the information at one glance, such as the name, date, and rating of the chat. You can decide what you want to do with the chat. You can set a status, assign a topic, create a ticket from it, or even delete the message. We offer different add-ons such as Pipedrive, Help Scout, or Salesforce. Now we move over to Operators. This overview shows you a list of all of your operators. Here you can select their language and operator groups. It's also possible to change the browser and email notifications that the operator receives. Under the chat panel tab, you can change the operator chat slots. These represent how many people this operator can chat with at the same time. We recommend three chat slots to start off. On to our last point. You want to track, compare, and improve your chat performance for one or all of your operators. You can do that in analytics. One crucial measurement in customer service is the first response time. Your customers expect you to respond quickly to their questions. Otherwise, they might leave the website and not complete the plan purchased of the 15-person tent. You have different options to display this information. Select the date range and compare several operators to see where you have room for improvement. There are many more things you can measure, of course. Topics, web visitor locations, you name it. That's it for our quick overview. Thanks for watching and happy chatting.